Today I'm gonna to be doing something that I've never done before and I'm actually looking forward to doing it. And I'm gonna be making some duck enchiladas. John came up with the idea, actually he told me that he's done it before and it's really good, but I've never thought about using duck to make enchiladas. Like I've done fajitas before, but never enchiladas. So over here I've got my duck breasts. I've got six halves, so I've got three ducks here. And I've got them soaking in some salt water right now, and they're all thawed out. They're just soaking to kind of get some of that gamey blood out of there. So it's been sitting there for probably like an hour or so. I'm not really too concerned about it. Just got to get, you got to soak it and brine it. Otherwise, it's going to just be really, really, really gamey. So like I said, I've never done enchiladas before with duck, and actually I've never done enchiladas in general. So this will be a very interesting experience and I want to share it with you guys because I know you guys like the duck um, cooking videos so we're going to keep rolling with these. So I went to the grocery store and picked up some cheese and then I got a couple things of enchilada sauce because John said to cook the duck in enchilada sauce which is what one of these is for and one of these is for the actual enchilada. And then I got 20 tortillas and an onion. Total cost for all this was um, $14. That's not bad. I'll probably be eating this for a couple of days. 14 bucks. Good deal. So first things first, I have to get out my cooking vessel. And my cooking vessel is a crock. Don't vlog and cook. So I'm gonna stick my crock pot over here. Boom. All right. Crock pot is there. Gotta pick up the lid. Uh, drop. Boom. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is this is really hard to do one-handed. Now I'm gonna take this. John said to cook the meat in the enchilada sauce, which it's kind of like a marinade, I guess you could say. I'm gonna get down here like this. And show you guys my pretty face. But yeah, let's open this enchilada sauce up with the world's worst can opener. Good enough. Alright, now the enchilada sauce goes into the crock pot. Now we need to add the duck. These don't look too bad. So I'm gonna just lay these in here and then. Hopefully they will all kind of have their own little cooking room here. So, bada bing, bada boom. Get them all covered up. So I put it on high because I don't have all day to cook it. Like if I did this the right way, I would have started Last night, I would have thawed it, all the meat out, let it brine overnight, and then put it in the crock pot when I got up this morning, put it on low, and then cook it slow all day. But I've got like half a day now, so I put it on high. It should be all right. Luke cooked some goose on high one time, and it was fine. I will be checking it periodically, and once it's ready to go, we'll be making enchiladas. I'm thinking that I'm gonna flip this on low. It's been on high for a couple hours now. I'm gonna put it on low because the meat's cooked all the way through and it's kind of hard. So I'm gonna put it on low to just kind of really kind of slow cook it and get that, that meat to where I'll be able to pull it apart really easily. I'll let that sit there for a couple more hours and then we will start stuffing these up and throw them in the oven. I think we might be ready to go with this and shred it up. I'm gonna take these out of the old crock pot here. We've got our six breasts here, and let's go ahead and start shredding them up. They cooked up real nice in here. So I'm just gonna shred these so we can get them ready to stuff in the tortillas. And 
I think it looks pretty gosh darn good. I mean, some of these chunks are kind of big, but it'll buff. What I need to do now is probably add some more of that enchilada sauce to the meat. And then I'm going to chop up that onion, saute it, and put it with this meat here. And then we'll start wrapping. Onions. I'm going to use two hands for this. Got those going. This is a lot easier than I figured it was going to be. Which I figured is pretty easy. I had that, that duck cooking for... I think since like 12.30 and it's 4.30 right now. So I put four hours in there and it looks good. Got the onions going, we're gonna put those together. And then tortilla time. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. And then once it's, everything's good to go, we'll throw it in there and let it go for about 20 minutes and we'll be eating it. These onions are done, so we're going to take them, put them in there. Tortillas, meat and onions, cheese, enchilada sauce. We got greased up pan here, and then I've got an extra one over here just in case we need it. But let's go ahead and start filling them up. So I figured this would be a pretty easy process because we're just taking the meat we're gonna put it inside the tortilla okay so we got the meat in there and I like my enchiladas to just have a lot of cheese on them so we'll go ahead and put some cheese inside that puppy and then we roll it up Boom, put her in the pan. Step one, complete. Do you do sauce then cheese or cheese then sauce? Sauce then cheese. Sauce so. then cheese. I've never done this before, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I've ate an inch a lot before, so I know what it's supposed to look like in the end. Well, guys, I've never done this before, but... Here's I'm, how you do it. I, I'm trying to picture how it's been made. I watched one YouTube video on this, and I'm an expert on it now. This one's heavy. We'll check in with you in 20 minutes. It's ready to go. Big one's still got a little bit of time. Little one is fresh out of the oven. It's been close to probably like 30 minutes now. 20 just wasn't enough to get it bubbling. I might have put too much sauce in the bottom, but. Big one's still got time to go. It's not bubbling quite yet. I'm ready to taste test this stuff though. <clears throat> time to let the goodies cool off before we try them. He's eating deer tacos. Justin eats tacos every Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Here's what we got. Let's give her a try. Duck enchiladas, will we do these again? Yeah, yeah, I'd do these again. They're really cheesy, which probably makes it better. But the duck doesn't taste bad. Everything really kind of 
goes together. Maybe a little bit of sour cream or uh, cream cheese in there next time would be better. But I give this, I'm feeling generous tonight. We'll give it a 10 out of 10. I would do it again. Well, you can do it again. All in all, these enchiladas were pretty friggin' awesome. I would definitely make these again. Maybe play with the recipe a little bit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, and let me know if you try it. Cause I'm, I mean, I, I never thought about this until the other day, and perfect idea. Like four hours in the crock pot on high with the enchilada sauce. And then shred it up, throw it in the tortilla with the onions and cheese, and then in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes, just until like it starts to bubble around the edges in the enchilada sauce. That's kind of when I knew it was done. Easily three, four meals out of 14 bucks. That's a good deal. If you guys like this video, leave me a thumbs up and tell me what other recipes you want me to try. If you have any ideas for recipes for me to try out and make a video on, leave it in the comments. Send me some fan mail to my P.O. box if you haven't already so that I can do an un unboxing opening of fan mail video. And subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty more duck hunting and fishing content coming your way. You can follow me on my social media. It's on the screen somewhere. And I'm most active on Snapchat and Instagram. But I check everything pretty frequently, if we're being real honest here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if it's like an instructional or just bringing you along with the thing that I'm doing. I don't even know what to call it, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next one.